Hey guys, Barry Wise here, and welcome back to some more Armour Free Life, and we're going to be doing things a little bit different this time. There's not been that much uh, happening, any action anyway, when I've been on. It's mostly been happening when I've been off, but I'd still like bring you some content, and I get a lot of people asking, what is it like to go on duty? What are the, you know, the routine procedures? And it gives me a chance to actually interact with you guys and any questions that you have. I'll try to get through as much as possible in this episode, but if you do like it, don't forget to comment and give it a thumbs up and ask any questions you want to know about it. Also, this is live, so I will get interrupted, so I'm going to apologise now if I do get interrupted and forget what I'm on about, which no doubt that'll happen. We'll be answering calls, we'll be doing, you know, everything that you would normally do when you go on duty. Right, so let's get going. I've spawned in, I've spawned in with all my equipment from the previous time, because I didn't die, thankfully. If you do die, you obviously have to rebuy your equipment again. But we'll go through some of the options. Obviously, you've got your ATM here for get your cash out. you got your guy where you can get all your items from. Uh, this is Deputy Item Shop. It's where you can get all your stuff from here. Or you like your coffee donuts, spike strips, uh, your blinking cone, the strip, which I love, which I always use. You've probably seen me use it before. So that's about it for him. Clothing Shop. Oh. Let me just stand a little bit further back and then you can see that a little bit better. Clothing shop here. You've got obviously all your different uh, departments. You've got highway patrol, corrections, uh, wetsuits for when they're doing their undercover stuff. Uh, and they want to do a drugs bust or something like that. And they need a wetsuit. Uh, DA, you know, all your stuff. You've got your backpacks and your glasses and, and all, all your clothing requirements there. Then obviously we've got Detective Clothing Shop, which I, I can't actually get in. I didn't think I'd be able to, but yeah, that's Detective anyway. I didn't think I'd be able to get into that because I am only a deputy. Due to me obviously being rehired, I was originally a sergeant, but now I'm just a deputy. Uh, let's see if we can actually get in SWAT clothing. Oh, we can get in SWAT clothing. You can see some of that. That's pretty smart. We'll close that. Hopefully I haven't got it on. No, I've not got it on. Now, Junior Deputy Shop. This is going to be the shop that you're going to use when you first get on here. Once you've been, once you've been, uh, you've done your two weeks probation in the Deputy of Corrections, that is the place where you're going to be right here. So obviously you're limited to what kit you can get. You've got your first aid tasers, which everybody, every officer is always going to carry a taser no matter what. You've got your guns here, but you are restricted to this here, SBR9. It's a bit like an MP5 style gun. Really good at close range, uh, but other than that, it's, I don't think it's that good. I haven't got that much uh, experience with it, uh, but other than that, yeah. So that's your, uh, that's your junior deputy anyway. So the, the, the shop that I'm going to be using is uh, the deputy shop. As you can see, you've got your M4s here. You've also got a, your 19, M1911. I wonder if that's actually in. Let's just check, see if that's in the deputy shop. Junior deputy. Yeah, it is. Oh, I thought, I thought that was only for, for normal deputies. But you've got your senior deputy shop, which I can't access. DTU shop. Uh, and then obviously you've got your boat license and things like that, trade suitcase. I'm pretty sure that's for... Uh, when we're transferring money and stuff over. I think it is. I'm not too sure though. You've got your SWAT command shop, SWAT weapon shop. I don't think I can access that. No, I can't. So that's about it for the shops anyway. If you do have any questions, just let me know. And if I do do another episode on this, uh, I'll be sure to uh, get it in on it. Uh, so we have got... We've got the vehicle shop here, vehicle garage, store vehicle and garage. So let's just see what vehicles, uh, vehicle shop. Let's have a look at that. So we've got the trusty mountain bike, which anybody can use. I wouldn't advise it, but I am actually going to do an episode where we go patrolling on a bike, which will be pretty cool itself. So we have got the Crown Vic slick top. That'll have no light on top. You've still got lights and the grills and things like that, but you've got no actual, uh, how would you put it? I can't think of what it's bloody called now. But basically, you've got no light bar on top. That's the one. That was. That's what I was thinking. So you're actually restricted. I don't think I can actually have a slick top. I think that's senior deputy. 
but I normally roll round anyway in just a normal the normal light bar. Uh, the Crown Vic's a very very good car. It used to have an armor rating. I think it was above that before. It was pretty damn good con compared to the Taurus. Uh, the Taurus is, is obviously a lot more modern. Uh, but other than that, yeah, they're basically the same. Let's have a look at uh, vehicle garbage. See what I've got. I've got a Taurus. Let's get that out. So we can retrieve that. Should come over here. You've obviously automatically got the keys just like you'd buy one as a civilian. Press U for unlock. Let's get in it. We're just going to pull over here. We've actually... Oh, God, I didn't know why I jumped out. Somebody's actually given the command to jump out. So whoever's the, the squad leader has actually just given that command. I'm pretty sure that's why I jumped out. We've actually got a reversing camera. Not many people know about this, but you can actually see behind. It's pretty cool. Just the same as, as you can in the mirrors. So we're going to pull over here. And now we're going to set our radio up. Now there's a few things we don't do. Obviously, this particular uh, radio frequency that I'm going to put in will be different to when you see this video. So you know you you can't get on you can't get on put it in your civilian radio and it's going to be and it's going to work because we're constantly changing them. We have attack one frequency. If that gets compromised, i.e., if a radio is stolen or somebody puts it in a car radio and that gets stolen. Then we'll switch to TAC2 as soon as we know. Uh, obviously, there has been times when we haven't known. We've got civilian impersonators on the radio, and uh, we think they we think they are the other officers on duty, uh, but we don't know. Larry. Hello, Sebastian. How are you doing today? Are we going to Opium to help Jack? Are we going where, mate? Jack is at Opium, and he has people there doing Opium because Daniel ripped. Okay, yeah, let's go, mate. Let me let me jump in the back. Yeah, you can drive. I'll give you the keys. No problem. I'm just explaining to Jack, people. Jack, coming in the back up. Yeah, introdu introducing how we go on duty and stuff. Let me give you the keys. So yeah, I will say ten eight now, right? Whatever. Yeah, if you want to. Uh, uh, yeah. Radio issue. Yeah, so basically, ten eight means uh, we're just in service. You normally go ten eight from here. Uh, Wherever you are, wherever your location is. So we're going to put the frequency in now. Haven't driven in a long time. I never put two frequencies in. I only put one frequency in. I never put both tacks in. That is a massive big no-no. We're going to actually turn that down. We're going to do a radio check now. Radio check. So now the 10 2 just means loud and clear. We've heard your message, we've acknowledged it, so yeah, and everything's we have fine. Two and two spike strips on the end of the bridge. Oh my god, this. We've got two spike strips, function. did you say? And we are on code green, so that means we can't have our, uh, our uh, assault rifle out. We've got to have a taser or a handgun out, which poses another problem. Radio check. Gotcha. Which yeah, which poses another problem because what do you have out? Do you have your, do you have a, a lethal weapon out or do you have your taser? And, and it's a, to, uh, it's extremely hard to swap the, yeah. when you're on the run bridges, because you've got to drag it over. If you've actually got your uh, other weapon out like that, you can switch okay. really easy. So it poses a, a, a you know a problem at times. You've got to always make sure you have one officer with your taser and one officer with a lethal. That is always your best option. Okay, so Sebastian and Barry, just watch out. There is spice ribs set up yeah. at the end yeah. of the bridge. I'm going to pick them up. Do you know how many people are actually there, yeah, they're all, uh, they're Sebastian? All the way down there to Two turn, basically. Two what, sorry? Two magnets. Let's oh, have a look where the other Oh, okay. Let's have a look where the other officers are. Got Jack over there on his lonesome. So there's quite there's quite a lot to it, but uh, once you once you understand the basics, it's pretty easy. Oh, I tried to handbrake. So oh dear. Oh my God! Really? What? Oh God! What have we done? I tried to back did away. you hit it? Did you hit a spike strip? Yeah, 
Apparently, I did somehow. Oh I, I dear. I wasn't even close to them. Do you have a toolkit? For fuck's sake. Yeah, I should have a toolkit, mate. Let me get out. Just watch because me when I get out. Whole, yeah, because of this whole fucking DLC, I forgot how to fucking drive. Trucks are moving out. Oh sh now the Now the trucks are moving, and we've got a broken yeah, vehicle, yeah, which is good. Good way, Sebastian. <laughs> Well, shit happened, okay? So that is what happens when you don't pay yeah, attention. Exactly <laughs> <like that. laughs> on the very right side. So possibly them trucks are full it. of opium. I say drove into it. Uh, no, we didn't. Alright, Sebastian, come on, let's go. You drive. Just say it's the you drive. Right. You want me to drive, okay? Yeah, well, the shit thing well, is, the two Renault Magnums come on. know we're here now because they saw Sebastian in the bridge. So what's the plan, mate? I don't know, just stop him, try to pull him over and we almost like to kill him Good at job, the end. Smash. Are we pulling these over? Yeah. Okay, which which are we going for? Are we in the back or front? Have we got any, where's the other officer? Where's Jack? They're coming back around, I'm gonna move in. Yeah, Jack is moving. Okay, we're going to wait, uh, wait for you guys, if you could possibly pull in front and block both of them off. I'm behind you, Barry. Roger that. What's up with your GoPro videos from Alex? Like you wrote a message. I'm looking off the exit. You ready to shoot, I guess? Yeah, get ready, mate. I'm going to keep a distance. Oh, they try crash through. Get ready, jump out, mate. I'm going to block them in from behind. Okay, go, 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 mate. I'm going to pull further forward, block them. Okay. Get out, get out, get out, get out! Get out, get out! Get out, get out! Get out, get out! On the floor, on the floor, on the floor! On the floor! Oh shit, why ain't. What the hell? Massive mistake. Oh god. <laughs> Thank god for that. I wasn't reloaded. Holy shit. That's what happens. When you don't fully prepare yourself, guys, I nearly got shot. Well, I didn't make it. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Wait, 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 I'm gonna kill myself, wait. Uh, you, you'll, you'll keep going. So that was pretty successful, actually. We'll have to see what we actually find in the trucks. Uh, we had a successful block here. We got him in. Just a shame that I didn't have my taser reloaded. I'll blame Sebastian for that. Beautiful EMS. When he checked out what the guy had on. Sebastian, what we are we going to search the vehicles? Uh, yeah, I'm going to search them. Search the briefcases as well. Yeah, check yeah, the briefcases. Oh. We'll check the registration of this as well. It says, oh, Nine, 19 opium poppies on this body. Guys, we actually have to Whoa. get the keys because it doesn't show Yeah, it doesn't let you, it doesn't show you, yeah. Well, at least we've recovered something though. That's a bonus, isn't it? Camera footage of something. Okay, I'm oh. gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up the opium poppies if you guys guys can hey, check me off the so this. I lose it. Okay. Oh, you're gonna take them. You're gonna take a GoPro snap of whatever. I've got. I've got a picture. Can't believe I didn't have my taser reloaded. Oh god, I'm a noob. I'm a, I'm, de I'm a definite noob. Oh, wow. really? So looks like we've got uh, EMS on the way. That's brilliant. We can take this guy in as well. That's great. I'm gonna go over actually and repair, repair the vehicle. I'm pretty sure it got a bad, it got a bad wheel at the front. Got damaged. Let's pull it back a little bit so it doesn't caught on that when it does repair. We aren't going to fly, go flying or something stupid like that. Let's hope, hopefully, I've got another repair kit. I'm pretty sure I normally carry quite a few. But yeah, what was I saying about the radio is I don't put both tacks in because that's obviously stupid. If a radio is stolen, they'll have both tacks. I also don't put it in the car just in case the car's stolen. You can also put EMS on it. Uh, in the DOC frequency as well, but I tend to put them in when needed. 
I tend to just keep one frequency on the radio just in case something does happen. So we're fully repaired, uh, and yeah, I think hey, we are. And you were not allowed to drop people off the bridge, right? It's quite a big scene going on. It's quite a big uh, scene going on, you guys. I'm oh shit! Happy. Look, it's Barry. Brian, you just come back for us. What? Welcome back. No, okay. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome you back. Thank you very much, sir. It's, been, it's a pleasure to come back. I do, but I'm not allowed to get to you. <laughs> Just fucking give me the lock. Stay, Open stay this fucking car. Not, what, what's in here? Have we have we unlocked this yet, guys? No, he doesn't want to give me the fucking keys. I don't have Who, the this keys, guy? Man. You've got the keys, out. dude. Yeah. I can see him in no, your pocket there. Out. Okay, take them if they're in my pocket. Well, you, I can't... I'm taking them. I'm taking them they're not in you've... my pocket. Oh my fucking god. Can't you hear the engine? So this is another problem we have. We need the keys to actually search it. Uh, and if they're saying they haven't got the keys, there's no way of us actually, you know, saying you've definitely got the keys. We've got to try to convince the people to give give us the keys, which is hopefully it'll be fixed. Oh God, someone just shot. Hopefully will be fixed at some point, but really they should give us the keys. But one of them is an ambulance. No, Civilians stop. can be arseholes. One, one's in the ambulance, they say, Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll yeah, have to get somebody blind. follow her and back, yeah. won't we, when we go? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to restart in 10 Sebastian minutes, though, so... Oh, we've got a rest... Oh, tsunami like, coming. Hmm? Tsunami's coming. Yeah, probably tsunami or three, one of the two. Oh, that's good. You can't die, but you don't have Sorry, I just have a bad waking problem. How are we doing on the on the pick lock? Pick locking. Okay, you don't need my keys if you have a chainsaw. You don't need my keys if you have a chainsaw. Just get in there with the chainsaw. Okay, I'm searching you. Right, so this guy's now searching. Ho ho ho! Okay, nice. That's not mine. Who put that? That's not yours. Yeah, just like you haven't got the keys, eh? Just like you haven't got the keys. Jason, was that you? Jason, was that you? No, no. Are you sure? Are you sure, Jason? In a man, in a man, in that, in that, a police issue rifle. That's not mine at all. Yeah. I have no. Yeah, that's, that's I have police, never been. A, that's, that's a police issue rifle, officer, sir. So you couldn't be me. I mean, you're the police officer. Probably your gun. Yeah. Not very much. Yeah, it probably is yeah. mine. It's been stolen and sold or something. Oh, or you know, oh, some goodness, some corrupt cop. Who sold it to you? Yeah. Who sold it? Who sold it to you, sir? No. His name is Brian Wilkins. Put your fucking hands up. I'm taking. Brian Wilkins. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. So yeah, guys. Uh, basically, when they say the matrix is going down, it means the world's going down. People say tsunami. People say all different things. But I'd say that's successful. Hopefully, we can get into that van. Fingers bloody crossed. Anyway. But I hope this is, you know, sh shed some light into what it's like to be a sheriff on it all my life. I mean, it's fun at times. It's extremely frustrating at times. Uh, civilians can be a nightmare. Civilians will do anything to make your day the worst day possible. So you know, some some are great. Some are great people, and you have a really good laugh with them. But some are just terrible, and the way they conduct themselves is terrible. I mean, I've been a civilian. I've you know, I've been like that. But it's just it it is hard for 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 you know for us going around trying to police the city when you've got people that you know will do anything to get out of the tiniest thing and just tie your time up. You can be with a guy for like an hour, and you get nowhere at all. You get nowhere at all. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this. Obviously, you know, we're going to be still bringing out uh, Super Troopers as soon as some great action comes out. Uh, but other than that, guys, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. Peace out.